Hello and welcome to DIYBedBugHeaters.com. This video is all about how to repair the room for heat treatment. In this video you're going to learn how to repair a sprinkler system for heat treatment, why pre-vacuuming the room is so important and what to do with the vacuum bags when you're finished, how to manage and prevent heat loss in the room, how to manage room contents and what items you may want to remove from the room prior to treatment. And of course, other tips to do or not to do before heat treatment. So the first thing you want to be aware of and prepare for is a sprinkler system. You don't want to accidentally cause water damage to your home or location. If the room you will be using the heaters in has a sprinkler system, first read the manual to identify the system set off temperature. Most systems can be set off between 135 and 170 degrees Fahrenheit from heat. If a sprinkler system is present, it is recommended to have immediate access to covers or a shotgun to prevent them from going off. You can visit the website shotgun.ca backslash shop if you need to purchase any. If you have confirmed the actual set off temperature of your sprinkler system, you should physically monitor your treatment to stay below that temperature. These instructions must be followed to avoid problems with respect to on-site sprinkler systems. It is the responsibility of the user to take all prudent safety steps in completing their eradication. The second way to prepare is to vacuum the carpet or flooring to clear out any bed bugs or skin casings. So when you are finished vacuuming, you'll want to dispose the vacuum bags properly prohibit the spread of bed bugs. Make sure to label that there are bed bugs in the bag. The third step is to manage heat loss. First, make sure all the windows, blinds, and curtains are closed. We recommend purchasing reflective insulation and heat resistant tape around windows or glass doors. Cardboard cutouts that match window sizes are also good and reusable. Place towels under bathroom doors to keep bed bugs in treatment room and to manage the heat. Concrete, cinder block, or brick construction will take longer to heat and may require additional heaters. If the room has a thermostat, set it to the highest setting to assist in the heat ramp up. Next, vents, exhaust fans, and bathrooms and returns are great places for bed bugs to hide and where heat will escape. Apply heavy duty plastic or cardboard to seal off the vents. Finally, place towels under the door to the outside of the room after the heaters are turned on. The fourth way of preparing for heat treatments is by managing the room contents. Leave potentially infected contents in place that are not on the remove list. Removing at risk spreading bed bugs. Make sure to read and remove any items from the room on the remove list, which can be downloaded below this video. Contents left in the room needs to be agitated every 30 to 45 minutes. Expose all items in the room to the heat treatment. Raising furniture off the floor creates more air movement beneath it. Wood blocks, metal mill crates, or bricks can be used. The last thing to do is make sure you follow these last steps before treatment. Dry clothes on high for at least 20 minutes. When it is finished, place in a sealed bag in the bathtub. Clothes on hangers can be left in the space if they are not packed tightly. Turn off alarms. Take alarms offline if monitored. Remove batteries from smoke and CO2 detectors. Unplug all electronics. This equipment is typically rated for temperatures of 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Open dresser drawers to expose content to heat. Bedding can be hung over doors and will be heat treated during the process. Take AC units offline. Finally, and this is really important, do not use any bed bug pesticides before a heat treatment as it can be dispersed throughout the room causing a physical mess that can add hours to the job and cause exposure to harmful chemicals. Well, I want to thank you for watching this video 
And be sure to watch the next video about equipment setup and successful eradication of those pesky bed bugs. You can probably find that video below.